On the makers course, there's so much information you need to take in. There's so many things in code that you need to learn that it gets too much for you to possibly remember everything. Now, one skill set that you need to pick up is to be able to understand the overarching themes of what you need to do, but know where you need to look the finer detail up. Now, that's great with the internet, and loads of us are able to look up the docs really quickly, but there's some things that aren't quite so easy to pick up. As you learn, there's certain things you want to note down that are, are, are unique to you, things that you will need to process as you go through that you will find useful, and you want to get back to those easily, okay? And you also want them formatted and, and look lovely in the way that you want them to. Now, I've seen, I, I've been a teacher for over 10 years, and I've helped people to study and to pass their exams. And when they've got so much information, you want to try and reduce the amount of things that you are trying to remember and remember core concepts and be, just be able to access those details and figure those out as and when's needed. So I've, I've talked with some people about all the different ways that they go about making notes or revision pages, uh, mind maps. Uh, someone even said to me of late said, I, on the Makers course, I started to write down on paper all the useful information there was. And I said, uh, I ran out of paper, okay? And even if they didn't, to have a huge stack of paper, you think you write these notes, but will you go back and read them? Will you be able to find those? Now, that's where I find that this program Notion comes in handy. Now, I've used it for the last two or three years, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Now, my notes, the first time I got into this, they did not look like this from the start. I built these up slowly. As I began to learn the different topics, different things were useful to me at the time. When you all start out in a programming language with Hello World, that's a big deal to you. And as time progresses, you start to get into other aspects. Like I, I reached out further into the field with uh, agile testing, learning more about um, other things, starting to take on extra courses on data structures and algorithms. Okay, there's just small things that crop up all the time. Okay, things that you, you're, if you don't use them regularly, you're going to forget. So if I just give you an example, if we have a look at my notes that I have for Git in general, and I, and I open this one up, full page. Okay, now first of all, look, you can import your own images. Okay, so you, it, it can look really nice and in the way you want it. This build tool part here, because it can run on databases. This image is mine here, by the way. Um, and then if we see here, you've got your own little extra pages that you set up, each with little icons. Okay, these terms all mean something to me. Okay, I just think it's a really useful thing to be able to get to. And then look further down. We've got these really nice larger image, uh, images that come from websites. Okay, so you can see here I've got inviting collaborators, documentation. So let's go back and see the other things I've got in code notes. Okay, so other things that we've been learning. So as I've been going through and I've been learning things with testing, okay, and Ruby, that's a major thing that we've been doing in, in the pre-course on the Makers setup. Lots of things I've been adding to that one there. Let's have a look at the terminal that I've got. A lot more work there. Okay, you can see again, lovely images. I'm able to stylize this to fit my needs. Okay, working with directories and files. Okay, so look, here we go. So I was able to give it a nice little cover, uh, icon rather. And then look, you can write in code. You can highlight to the colors you want to. Okay, so these are all the things that I, I need to have at my fingertips and highlight them the way I would like to. Okay, if I go back, uh, let's see, I have got other things that I would say would be useful. If I go to example, I did some work a long time ago with Webpack, building my own websites. If I click here and give you the full page again, Webpack is a use with JavaScript whereby you are importing build tools that we're going to help things, for example, like minimizing, minifying rather your code to remove lots of gaps, get it as small as it can before it goes on a website, changing images to bit fit better. But I might forget over time. So have a look here. I can write a code block in JavaScript and you think, oh, well, if I wanted to copy this, don't I have to highlight it with my, no, because you've done it like this in a code block, it's got great UX design. I can click copy copied code to clipboard and I can go straight to my terminal and put that in. So if you're building these things for yourself, you can create the most useful things for you. But it doesn't just do this. If I if I go and have a look how else I use this for my learning. So I've got my learning path here. As I said, on the makers course, there's so many different things that you, you need to be trying to think about. And as you progress, if I just sort of 
talk a little bit about this. So as you're learning, you think you start off with hello world. These are the things you're trying to do. And then you start to add to that circle. Things just on the outskirts of that, maybe writing in HTML was a little bit scary. Okay, and then you get to a stage where you don't need those notes anymore. I come back and refine my work. And at this stage now, the things that were once scary, you, you've added on to the next time. So now I'm adding JavaScript and CSS to my HTML files, and you're learning a little bit more. But I no longer need notes on Hello World, and that's what I keep doing. But I can find all of this information because I have Notion. I can access this on the web, I can access this on desktops, it's accessible everywhere, and you can see how, how nicely laid out it is. So let's click back into here. But this is now a Kanban board helping me to try and prioritize work I'm doing. So for example, we've been doing a lot of work in the terminal. We can see over here I, at the Maker's pre-course that I had uh, work I'd done in there. Let me just click on that. What had I been doing? Things that stood out to me, trying to go through recursion, arrays and procs, okay, code war catters. So let's go back. I've now completed that work. Now I've been working at the moment trying to learn a little bit more about GitHub Actions. But on my backlog here, somebody mentioned about regex. Now, I, I, every time I start to do regex, I, I learn a little bit more and, and I move further forward. But someone said, I've got a great resource that's good for that. Now, it's low priority for me at the moment because I've got things like databases and particularly over here, I've been working on RSpec and testing. It's going to be far more important at this moment in time in my learning. But I don't want to forget about it. So I'm able to put this back here on a to-do list. So I, I'm able to come back and work on that. Okay, so it's great. And I even want to show you, I have a scheduler. And this is for the videos that I've been working on. As I come up with an idea, I'm able to just smack there. And I've, I've built a template that I can just fill in as a, what's my status? If I go in there, is it to-do, ready, published? Or, you know, I did it a while ago and I can archive that. Okay, a quick title. It's even got markdown, so it'd be great if you were doing it on GitHub. Any extra media uh, websites, when I want to publish that. So I think it's really, really a thing where I want to highlight is that Notion has been great for me in the sense that I'm able to use it as almost like a second brain. Like it's just, I'm able to go back and access it, add to it, incorporate those things. But like a computer, my personally, my, uh, my my data it's 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 not as big as it could be. So this is like having an external disk drive, and it's just beautifully formatted, so I can get to that. I mean, hey, look, even take a look at this. If I come back in here for a moment, my and you've got these different boards. So I've got the board I've mentioned, but it can go as a calendar, and then all of a sudden I'll have those pop up where where I'm going to post them. It's just so many things that you can do with it, and it's it's the key thing I think about Notion that really helps is you can stylize it to what suits you. If you are working on something like, as I say, coming up is like for me, I'm entering onto the Maker's full course very, very shortly. So much to learn and I wanna be able to keep adding to what I'm learning. So I really think Notion is a great note-taking tool for this kind of thing, particularly for people working in code. Let's go, let's go a stage further. I mean, if there are other things that you might want to know about, then there's, I've also done videos that are on some of the work we've done so far on the Makers pre-course. We've done a lot of work in the command line. So check out those videos. I've got, I've got two there particularly that show games that we've produced in the command line from scratch. So um, yeah, give those a go.